Good day, students. Today, we will going to continue our lesson about finding the surface area of a solid figure. But before we proceed with our lesson, let us first have a review about what is a surface area. When we say surface area, it is the sum of the areas of all the faces or surfaces of any 3D shape. And when we say area, in geometry, the area can be defined as the space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object. The area of a figure is the number of, of unit squares that covers the surface of a closed figure. Area is measured in square units such as square centimeters, square feet, square inches, and maybe more. Before we proceed with our lesson about finding the surface area of the cube, and rectangular prism, let us first have a review about the formula that we use in finding the area of the different flat shape or flat figures. We have for the triangle, we have the formula area is equal to one half times base times its height. For the rectangle, we have area is equal to its width multiplied to its height. For a trapezoid, we have area is equal to one half a plus b times its height. For the square, we have area is equal to side squared. Okay, so a here is the length of its side. So we can also uh, say that area is equal to side squared. For a parallelogram, area is equal to base times height. And lastly, for circle, the formula used is area is equal to pi times r squared, where r stands for the radius. Now, let us have a review about how to find the area of a triangle. So, we have here an example triangle, wherein its base is 6 cm and the height is 4 cm. The formula used in finding the area of a triangle is one half times base times height, where in the base is equal to six centimeter, and the height is equal to four centimeter. So let us now answer so six times four, that is twenty-four. And what is the half of twenty-four? That is twelve. So it means to say that the area of this triangle is 12 centimeter squared. How about the area of a square? For the area of a square, we have a formula of area is equal to side raised to the power of 2. So side squared. Wherein, as we all know, that a square, all of its sides are equal. So like for example, we have here a square where in the side of the square is equal to 7 meter. And to find the area of the square, we're going to use this formula. Here is equal to side squared, where inside is equal to 7. And 7 squared it means to say that we're going to multiply 7 by itself. 7 times 7, that is 49. So the area of this square is 49 meter squared. For the area of our rectangle, the formula used is area is e area equals to length times width or width times height. It's just the same. Okay? So if we have here an example of a rectangle wherein the width for the length is 7 and the width is 4, all we have to do is to multiply the length and the width. 7 times 4, area of this rectangle is equivalent to 28 feet squared or square feet and lastly to find the area of a circle we have the formula area is equal to pi times r squared or radius squared if we have a given circle here which is it which has a diameter of 14 inches now how can we know or how can we apply that one if the given is diameter but in our formula we have radius always remember that radius or if we have one diameter it is equivalent to two radius 
it means to say half of this diameter is equal to a radius. So it means to say since the formula of a circle is area is equal to pi times radius squared, we're going to half our diameter. So what's the half of 14? The half of 14 is 7. Okay, so substitute the value of our pi is 3.14 times the radius, which is 7, which is half of our 14. 7 squared, we're going to do this one first. What is 7 squared? It is 7 times 7. 7 times 7, that is 49. 49 times the value of our pi, which is 3.14. 3.14 times 49, we got the answer of 153.86 inches squared. Okay, so remember, in finding the area of a circle, if the given is the diameter, all we have to do is to half. We're going to half it, or we're going to divide it by 2 to find its radius. Okay, so those are uh, the things that we need to remember in finding finding the area of the following um, polygons or flat figures. Now this time, let us proceed with our lesson, finding the surface area of a prism. Let's start with a cube. Okay, so this is an example of a cube. We can actually see cube in our houses, like for example, an example of a cube is a box or uh, a block. Okay, an ice cube is, is an example of a cube as well. Now, in our example here, when we say cube, all of its sides are equal. Now, for this one, the side of the cube of its sides is 5 millimeter. And in finding the area of the cube, we need to find its surface area. And what is the surface area? Surface area is the sum of the areas of all of its faces or surfaces in a 3D shape. So it means to say we're going to find the area of each faces of this cube. So we have here face number one or surface number one, surface number two, three, four at the bottom, five at the back, and another one at the side. So, for a cube, we have six faces. Okay, so this is how it looks like. This is, this one is what we call the net of the cube. Okay, so, if we're going to open the cube, it looks like this one. And to find its surface area, we need to find out first the measurement of the area of this face, the area of this face, the area of this face, all of the all of the faces of this cube, we're going to find its area and then we're going to sum it up. We're going to add them all to find its surface area. Okay? So, since a cube is a square, it means to say that all of its sides are equal, so we were going to use the formula area is equal to side times side or side raised to the power of 2. You can use any of the following formula. Okay? So, area of a square. Let's find out the area of this, of this, of the first face of this cube. So, we have here, this one is 5 millimeter times 5 millimeter. So, 5 times 5, the area of the square is 25 millimeter squared. So, it means to say, that this part or this face of the cube measures 25 millimeters squared. Now we all know that the cube, all of its faces are equal, right? So if this one is 25 millimeter, all of its faces, all of its six faces are also 25 millimeters squared. So this will also 25 millimeters squared. Same with this one, 25, 25. I'm not going to put the millimeter, 25 and 25. 
okay? All of them, or all of the faces of this cube are 25 millimeters squared. And to find its surface area, all we have to do is to add them all. So 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 and plus 25. So the formula in finding the surface area of the cube is surface area is equal to area number one. This is area number one plus area number two, area number three, area number four, area number five, and area number six. Okay, so we all know that they are all 25 millimeters square, squared. So when we add them, 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25, the total surface area of the cube is 150 millimeter squared. So it's very easy to find the surface area of the cube. It's because all we have to do is to multiply or to find the area of one face of a cube and then all we have to do is to add them all or we can also multiply it by six since cube has six faces. We can also use this formula. Surface area of the cube is equal to six. Six here signifies the six faces of the cube. One, two, three, four, five, six times side raised to the power of two. Yes. Side raised to the power of two is, can you still remember this formula? Yes, this formula is how to find the area of a square. We just multiply it by six since the cube has six faces. Okay, so to do this one, we have six times five squared. We have here five, the side is five. And we're going to square it, five squared, that is 25. 25 times six, the answer is still 150 millimeters squared. Okay, so you can use any of the following formula. Now let's try to have another example. How about this one? Okay, so this cube has a measurement of 2.5 in each of its side. Okay, so this is its net. We can use this one. We can find the surface area by adding all of its areas. Okay, so let us find first the area of our first face or this one. So let us multiply 2.5 times 2.5, we get the answer of 6.25. So 6.25 is our area number one. 6.25 as well for our area number two since uh, cube has the same measurement. 6.25, 6.25 plus 6.25, 6.25 plus 6.25 plus 6.25. If we're going to add them all, the total surface area of this cube is 37 point. Or we can also use our second formula. Okay, and then again, we can use any of these two formula. The second formula that we have is surface area is equal to 6 times side squared. So we have here 6 times the side, which is 2.5 squared. So we're going to square the 2.5, 2.5 times, times 2.5, that is 6.25, 6.25 times 6, we get the answer of 37.5. Okay, so it means to say that the surface area of this cube is 37.5. Okay, now let's have our last example for the cube. We have here a cube where in all of its sides is 8 centimeter. For this example, we're just going to use this formula, the 6 times side squared. So we have here 6 times the side, which is 8 squared. I'm going to square the 8. 8 times 8, that is 64. 64 times 6, the answer is 384 centimeter squared. Okay, so don't forget grade 6 to put your unit of measurement at, at the end of your solving. So it's very important that you put your unit of measurement. 
If we have here centimeter, then we're going to put centimeter squared for our unit of measurement. If we have here feet, then we're going to put feet squared. If we have here meter, then we're going to put meter squared. Okay? So that is how we find the surface area for the cube. Now, let's proceed with how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. So as what we can see, rectangular prism and the cube has this what we call the same net. And the only difference between the two of them is for the rectangular prism, the sizes or the sides are not equal. Okay? Like for example, we have here, the side is okay, 5 cm and the height is 4 cm. The other rectangle has a different sizes. So for its base, it's 3 cm and the height is 4 cm. Okay, so in finding the surface area for the rectangular piece, we still be using the same formula and that is surface area is equal to area number one plus area number two plus area number three plus area number four plus area number five and plus area number six okay the only difference is that we need to solve each area one by one unlike for the cube we just multiply it by six but since in rectangular prism the sizes of which places are different from one another then we really need to find the area of each basis. Now let's start with this one. Okay. So for this, we have the length is 5 cm, the width is 4 cm. All we have to do is, okay, to multiply length times width. That is how we find the area for the rectangle. What's the formula? Length times width. So for our length, we have 5, and for our width, we have 4. So 5 times 4, this one is 20 centimeters squared. Next, for this one, we have the length of 3 centimeters. Okay, this one, this is the side. We have 3 centimeters, and the height, which is... 4 cm. So this will be 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12 cm squared. Same on its other side. So this is the first, uh, side one and the other one has also the same measurement. So this is 3 cm and the height is also 4 cm. So 3 times 4 so we still have 12 centimeters. So this one is also 12 centimeters. Okay. Now, let's how about this one. This is the front part. This is the front part. So for our front part, we have 5. This one is 5. 5 cm times the height, which is 4 cm. This is 5 times 4. That is 20 centimeters per. Okay, now let's have okay the, uh, the last one. The side at the top. This is 3 centimeter. And the width is 5 centimeter. Just like this one. Okay. This is 5 centimeter as well. So 3 times 5, that is 15. Centimeter squared and the bottom part is also the same 5 times 3 is still 15 centimeter squared okay and to find the surface area of the following all we have to do is to add them all so we have area number 1 20 Okay, plus 12, plus 15, plus 12, plus 20, and plus 15. Okay, so if we're going to sum them all or we're going to add them all, we get the total area, which is 
94 centimeter squared. So we remember grade 6 that we find the surface area of our rectangular prism. We really need to find the area of each face of the rectangular prism. And then after we find the area, we're going to add them all or sum them up. Okay, let's have another example. Okay, so for this one, we have a measurement of 10 centimeter, uh, 10 meter, 5 meter, and 6 meter. Okay, so still we're going to use this one. Let's start with this one. Okay, so this is the top part. Okay, this is the top. So 10, this is 10, and the side is 5. So 10 times 5, this is 50 meters squared. Now, the next one, the side part. This is the side. Okay. So the height is 6. And the base is 5. Okay. So 5 times 6. Or 6 times 5. Side, the side is 30 meters squared. Okay. How about the front? Okay. So we're done with this one. Let's put an X an X. Okay. For our front part, this is our front part. So, we have the width, which is 10. And the height, or the length, which is 6. So, 10 times 6. This one is 60 meters squared. For the other side, okay. So, still the same. 5 times 6, 5 times 6 is 30 meters squared. Okay, so we have now the bottom part. This is another the bottom part. So we have here 10 times 5, 10 times 5, that is 50 meters squared. And the last part, the one that's on the back, this one, it has the same measurement to its front, which is 10. This one is 10. 10 times 6, that is 60 meters per. And to find its surface area, all we have to do is to add them all. So we have here 50 meters squared plus 30 meters squared plus 60 meters squared plus 30 meters squared plus 50 meters squared and lastly plus 60 meters squared. We get a total surface area of 310 meter squared. Okay, and for our last example, let's find the surface area of this rectangular pizza. Okay, so let's use our formula. A is equals to area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3 plus area 4 plus area 5 and plus area 6. Let's start with our top one here. Okay, so the top part here, we have 15, the side is 10, so 15 times 10, that is 150. This one is 150 cm. Okay, so if this one is 150 cm, the bottom part of this one is also 150 cm. Okay, now let's start with the side. For the side, okay, the height for this one is 20. And the base is 10. So 20 times 10, the side is 200 cm squared. Okay, squared. I forgot to put the squared here. Squared, squared. If this side is 200, the other side is also 200 centimeters squared. Okay, this is also 200 cm squared. Okay, now for our front part, this is our front part. Okay, for our front part, we have 
the height is still 200. 200 times the width, is, which is 10. 200 times, uh, 200, I mean 20, I mean, sorry. Okay, so the, the height here is 20, 20 times 10. The front measurement or the area of our front is still 200 centimeters squared. Okay, and the back, back part is also the same. So, has the same measurement. This is the back part. It is also still 20 times 10. That is still 200 centimeter squared. Okay, and to find the total surface area of this rectangular prism, let us add its areas. So, we have here 150. This one, 150 plus 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus 150, which is the bottom part. We get the total surface area, which is 1,100 centimeter squared. So always remember, page 6, to find the surface area of the following of the following rectangular prism. All we have to do is to find the area of each faces, so which is six faces of a rectangular prism. Same with our cube. We need also to find the, the area of its six faces and sum them out. Okay, so thank you so much for listening, grade six. See you in our next synchronous class.